CFTR dysfunction in the sweat glands. In the normal eccrine sweat gland, fluid is secreted from clear cells in the secretory coil located at the base of the gland. This fluid contains water, sodium, and chloride, among other components, and moves through the duct towards the skin surface. Cells lining the reabsorptive duct contain CFTR and sodium channels. As fluid passes through the reabsorptive duct, chloride and sodium are moved from the lumen into the interstitium. In people without cystic fibrosis who have normally functioning CFTR, most of the chloride is reabsorbed back into the body. Sodium also moves in through sodium channels. By the time the fluid leaves the body as sweat, most of the sodium and chloride are reabsorbed so that the concentration of chloride is less than 30 millimoles per liter. This process helps prevent people from losing too much salt. For people with cystic fibrosis, functioning CFTR is not present in the reabsorptive duct. As fluid passes through, chloride remains in the ductal lumen rather than moving back into the interstitium. More sodium also remains in the fluid as sodium and chloride tend to stay together. When sweat leaves the body, the chloride and sodium level is still high, with values over 60 millimoles per liter. For people who have partial CFTR function, either because of their CF genotype or due to CFTR modulator treatment, some chloride may be reabsorbed, resulting in sweat chloride measurements often in the intermediate range between 30 to 59 millimoles per liter.